Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively are definitely one of the sweetest celebrity couples around, and they have the real estate to match that. Any picture perfect pair like these two also needs a picture perfect house to raise their family in. Despite many reports of the couple living in a charming abode in Pound Ridge, New York, this home is actually their previous residence. They sneakily purchased another place just four miles from here, which they keep pretty private and currently live in. But not to worry, we have some details to share, and we even got a peek inside Ryan and Blake's home during the pandemic. Ryan Reynolds is a Canadian-American actor, producer, and entrepreneur who began his career starring in a Canadian teen soap opera and other minor roles. It wasn't until the 2000s that he really found his place in Hollywood, starring in bigger productions like Buried and The Proposal. However, Ryan's biggest commercial success came with the superhero flicks Deadpool 1 and 2, which as you probably know, he's the star of. And then there's one of my first girl crushes ever, Blake Lively, who's also Ryan's wife. Blake is an actress known for starring as Serena Vanderwoods in the series Gossip Girl, and she's also starred in multiple films. These include titles like the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants franchise, The Town, Savages, and more. Ryan and Blake would meet on the set of the movie Green Lantern in 2010, where they were co-stars but didn't start dating until the following year. They quietly married in 2012 and have three daughters together. For almost a decade now, these two have been a Hollywood power couple. Between their red carpet appearances and social media jokes about one another, they're constantly making headlines. Not to mention, Ryan's estimated net worth at the moment is said to be around $100 million, while Blake's is currently $30 million. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. I noticed that 95% of you guys aren't subscribed, so please be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post a new video every day. You guys asked me to do a video on Ryan Reynolds, so we're going to take a look at where he and his wife Blake Lively call home in New York, plus a couple of their other properties, past and present. If you like these videos, make sure you ring that bell for notifications. We've also done house tours on the likes of Courtney Cox and other celebs, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Before we get into the homes Ryan and Blake have shared, let's take a peek at the actor's bachelor pad he lived in once upon a time, because yes, there was a hot minute when he was still single. You know, between his marriage to two mega babes. In 2014, Ryan finally sold a home he owned high above the Sunset Strip in the Hollywood Hills for 1.4 million, but it was at a loss of 310k. He bought the place back in 2007 for 1.7 million and held on to it for almost seven years. It would seem a bachelor pad was no longer serving him, and he wanted to close that chapter to be fully invested in his new life in Bedford, New York with Blake Lively. It took a considerable amount of time for Ryan to be untangled from this Los Angeles home. He listed it in 2009 for 1.9 million, but took it off the market six months later, then relisted it in 2011 for slightly less. He had a couple more price chops made over the next few years until finally selling. This house was described as a sophisticated Hollywood Hills private home at the end of a quiet cul-de-sac. Inside, it was humble in size, spanning 1,000 1,789 square feet with two beds and 2.5 remodeled baths. The vine-covered abode was actually quite simple looking, and it's reported the actor never really spent much time here anyways. This single-level home offers a cozy living room complete with a working fireplace, something not all residences in Southern California offer. There's also a dining room nearby, a chef's kitchen, and rustic wood floors throughout. The listing said Ryan's former pad was ideal for indoor-outdoor living and had the perfect patio for entertaining, which you could access easily from French doors throughout the home. The residence also boasted a private entrance through a walled and gated courtyard for some extra security. Other amenities included a new roof, solar heating, and tankless water heater. Although the property didn't have a pool, there was plenty of patio space and a beautifully landscaped yard with walkways overlooking canyon views. Not to mention, there was a sun-drenched courtyard too. When Ryan and Blake became the charming celebrity couple they are these days, they bought this charming $2.3 million pad located in Bedford, New York, just outside of the city in early 2012. This home sat on nearly two acres of waterfront property overlooking the Cross River Reservoir in an upscale community as you'd probably expect. The private property was only about an hour by car away from Midtown Manhattan, and anchoring the estate was a Cape Cod colonial style house spanning 4,553 square feet 
suites with three beds, 4.5 baths, and an additional two bedroom guest suite. The three story house was well hidden from the street down a long driveway, cutting through the woods and leading to a small parking pad. Stone steps go up to a broad terrace in front of the front door with views over the lawn that rolls down to a stacked stone wall near the water's edge. Inside, there was a double height entryway, paneled living room with stone fireplace, and a formal dining room that opens up to the country style kitchen. There were also fireplaces in some of the other spaces like the library and family room, and there was also a gorgeous window wrapped sun porch. Upstairs, Ryan and Blake could enjoy the master suite with private bath and two dressing rooms. Nearby, there were two of the other guest bedrooms, and the lower level of the home contained an extra bed and bath, an office with rec room, an office with a fourth fireplace, games room, laundry room, and a large cedar closet for storage. A wide covered porch off the living room leads down to a terrace with direct views of the reservoir through the trees, and the property also has landscape gardens and rolling lawns all around. I'm sure if Ryan and Blake would have stayed a hair longer at this home, they would have added a swimming pool or tennis court, or both. But here Here's the kicker. They changed their minds pretty quickly. In 2013, the couple sold the home for $2.495 million, just a little bit more than they paid, and secretly purchased their current house. So despite many reports of Ryan and Blake still living in the home we just looked at on Cross River Reservoir, they actually live four miles from there in a home they very sneakily purchased at the end of 2012. Very little is known about the interior of their family home, which is clearly intentional, and the couple wanted to keep things on the down low. We do know it cost Ryan and Blake 5.7 million and it's an old school colonial style mansion built back in 1860 and of course renovated a lot since. Inside it spans 8,892 square feet with seven beds and six baths and also offers a guest house. It sits on 11.65 acres of land and other famous neighbors nearby the couple include the likes of Martha Stewart, Glenn Close and Ralph Lauren. As I said very little is known about the home but a source told Variety that they witnessed a ton of construction going down after the duo bought the property. Just this past summer, we got a rare look inside Ryan and Blake's current New York mansion thanks to Instagram. The actress shared a snap of Ryan holding a cake in honor of her birthday in what assumed to be their dining room. It boasts wooden floors, exposed brick walls, black frame windows, and matching French doors. They also have a wooden dining table with matching wooden chairs. The same photo also gave a glimpse of the kitchen where there's a white high chair for one of the kids and the same interior style design. Blake has even previously unveiled a look inside her dressing room. It features endless open shelves for her shoes and purses, and a large island in the middle with drawers for more storage space. Unfortunately, it seems like that's the only look inside Ryan and Blake's mansion we'll be getting for now. According to E! News, the couple is a staple in the community, and locals describe them as nice and well-liked. Adding, they have a bit of a routine around town that can only be described as well idyllic. There's a Bedford Post in an elegant 19th century country resort that has long played host to celebs looking to relax and recharge, and the location of Lively's second baby shower. There's the inn at Pound Ridge where the couple hangs out constantly for lunch dates and the like. Ryan even sidles up to the bar solo on occasion. The couple also has a local cheese shop they love and a bakery, but either way, they love their privacy, and even the locals know that. With all that talk about privacy, I think I'll bring this house tour to an end here. But what did you guys think about Ryan? Reynolds and Blake Lively's homes, or what we know about their current home anyways. Be sure to rate the houses we could see in the comments down below. I also recently started a personal channel and have been posting a lot of fun stuff over there, so if you want to get to know me a bit better, please go like and subscribe, we'll link you my latest video. Fact, last weekend we survived off pizzas. We ordered too many, and I was eating it for three days, and then I got sick because all I ate was pizza. Literally, I- That's how much savory people we are. <laughs> <laughs> and then we went and had pizza last night. <laughs> Oops. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and drop a comment for whose house tour should be up next. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.